Today's hike brings us to Car Mountain, elevation approximately 3,400 feet, located in the Moose Lock area of the Southern White Mountains of New Hampshire. We'll be taking the Three Ponds Trail, uh, about a half mile to the Car Mountain Trail, which will take us to the top. Car Mountain used to be on the 52 of the view list, which is a uh, selection of 52 mountains under 4,000 feet in New Hampshire with good views. But unfortunately, the summit grew over and thus it got taken off. That's making, well, therefore, the 52 of the views are work in progress, basically. It can be uh, addended, so to speak. And for those of you who are interested in this list, I believe it's also on the New Hampshire 92 fire tower list. As we are mud fun to put it, the list of all the mountains that have had had or decided proposed fire towers. Okay, maybe not, maybe not exactly like that, but you get the idea. Anyway, to the start of the Car Mountain Trail we go. We're at the junction with the Mount Caneo Trail. It'll take you to the Donkey Hill Cutoff and Hubbard Brook Road over its namesake mountain, Mount Caneo. We want to stay on the Three Ponds Trail, as that'll get us to where we need to go. These are some nice woods right here. It may seem kind of boring to you, I don't know, but I think it's neat. Considering we're not that far up in elevation. Feels like a lot farther up though. I'd say about... Sorry, camera cropped out. I'd say about a quarter mile, maybe a little more, to the Car Mountain Trail Junction. If all goes well, I'll meet you over there. Alright, reached a junction with the Car Mountain Trail. This is our route to the top, 2.9 miles to it. I've heard from a few reports and videos online that this trail, at least parts of it, have seen better days in terms of maintenance. And I can kind of see why, considering that I don't read too, too many reports from it. Let's see if that holds true. Alright, we got our first brook crossing of the day. Trail goes out that way. Then the climb begins for wheels. Um, Alright, it's going to take a little bit of work to cross this thing, so I'll just do my thing and I'll meet you on the other side. Alright, we're across. I gotta say, that was a decently tricky brook crossing. Probably have to wade it during uh, spring. See, crossing old skid road right here. And now we're going up. Awesome. Anyway, I'll meet you farther up the Car Mountain Trail. I can hear that wind, boy. It is whipping. I'm actually kind of glad I didn't go over both tree line today. There's a nice, relaxing mountain walk in the woods. That's all I need. Oh boy, now we're going up. It's about time. We've been on relatively level to level ground for way too long. So far, this trail is kind of bland. Not to sound bland, but perhaps it'd be better with leaves. I'm not sure. Anyway, we've still got at least another two miles to go. There's plenty of room for improvement. Damn. I guess this trail doesn't see enough use to uh, maintain it on a regular basis. <sighs> Sad. Car Mountain seems like it would have the potential to be a good spot. Not that it isn't already. Granted, I still have quite a bit of distance to go before I even hit the top. <sighs> oh well, a little more wilder trail experience, if anything. All right, we just broke into 2,000 foot mark. So we got 1,400 and change to the top. Now, this trail so far 
It's actually been rather mellow. And judging by what appear to be faint old tire tracks, I have to say this is part of the uh, old warden's road to the fire tower when it was up and running. Correct me if I'm wrong. Whatever. We got all morning and all afternoon to do this. As long as I get down the mountain by uh, dark, I should be fine. Anyway, up we go. The woods, they are changing. From some thin woods to nice alpine sprucey woods. Once again, forgive me, I'm terrible with tree identification. Anyway, we've got about a thousand feet, give or take, of vertical to the top of Car Mountain. Awesome. Let's do it to it. Wow. This is actually a decently pleasant section of trail. Disregarding the uh, debris and blowdowns and stuff. We're getting close in terms of vertical gain. Definitely less than a thousand feet. The trail is starting to mellow out, so might be an indicator, not sure. Anyway, off we go. In all honesty, this is probably the best looking part of the trail right here. Let's see. Okay. Don't know if you can see it, but there's some trees up there. That's where you gotta go. Oh yeah. We're not done yet. We made it this far. We can, we can make it a little bit further more. All right, looks like you got a steep final climb to the summit area. Got about 400 feet, give or take, of gain to the top. All right, I'll quit babbling on. If I see something interesting, I'll show it to you. Otherwise, I'll meet you at the summit of Car Mountain. Got some bog bridges right here. I can imagine this would be quite helpful in the summer and spring months. Because I've heard that parts of this trail can get quite mucky. Anyway, we gotta be getting close. Thermometers, uh, altimeters saying that we're basically almost there. Let's find out. Yes, we've made it. This is the uh, junction with this little spur path right here that I believe goes to the summit. Let's do it to it. Anyway, I won't waste time getting this whole hike on the spur path on the video. I'll meet you over at the summit. We've done it. Welcome to the summit of approximately 3,400 foot Car Mountain, located in the Moose Lock area of the Western Way Mountains. Holy crap, these are the biggest fire tower pillars I have ever seen. And I, I can kind of see why I got bumped off to 52 of the view. You can see Moose Walk, but just barely. Although I'm gonna climb on those stairs right there and see if I can get a better view. Let's hit all the possible high points. points off camera but this was a uh, kind of a mixed hike if you ask me the bottom part through that old walking slash was pretty bland kind of meh once I got into the spruce woods at the higher elevations it got progressively better heck the uh, very upper part of this was very nice it was 3.4 miles to the top not sure about the elevation gain it's always a list of true number round trip in the credits. So, I'm gonna take a breather here, I'll leave you with my picture montage. I'll meet you back at the trailhead, assuming nothing interesting comes up.
part of the trailhead near the town of Stinson Lake. Overall, this hike is kind of a mixed bag. Not so much because of trail conditions, but more so because of uh, what there was to see. Down low, the trail is pretty meh. Old logging slash, what do you expect? But once I transitioned to the higher alpine style woods, spruce woods, it got progressively better. I gotta admit, the top part of the Mount Car Trail was um, pretty pleasant. The summit, it um, is pretty cool. Open, a lot of big bulging rocks that could be the high point. And of course, the uh, titanic old fire tower pillars. And there were good views in the top. Mount Musilok, the Franconias, the uh, Waterville Valley area were visible. But on the other hand, I can kind of see why it was uh, booted off the 52 of the view, because you had to move around to see them. The trees grew in too much. Round trip distance was seven miles because I'm kind of a stickler when it comes to this kind of thing. Since it was so close to seven miles, I when I got back to the trailhead, I walked back up to the Mount Caneo Junction, 0.1 mile away, and then walked back. Yeah, I know him. Whatever. So round trip distance was seven miles, let's say about 2,000 feet of elevation gain. As always, I'll list the true number in the credits. So, from the Three Ponds Trailhead and Car Mountain, see you on my next adventure.